Okay, we're ready for part three now on the fuselage. And what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be carving out a part of the tail section here for our micro servo. And you can see just how tiny these things are. And they're very thin, which is one reason why I chose them. Now, I like positive pressure on my elevator. So I am going to be orienting this with the control arm up. And you can see that if you orient the control arm down, I mean, you can do that, but your control arm is going to be awfully close to the bottom of the fuselage. And also, I don't want to take a chance on damaging the servo when I bring it in for a landing. So I'm going to orient mine up. And what I did, you want to, you want to measure from the furthest extent back of your, tail, of your fuselage tail section here. If you can see where I have the ruler and you want to come back 80 millimeters and what I did was I just used a marker and I put a little black dot there and I knew that was where the edge of my servo was going to go toward the tail and then I just placed my servo right in the center of where the horizontal stabilizer is going to be and I traced it with an ink pen I don't know if you can see the ink pen markings on camera or not but I already have this traced out and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Dremel tool again with my uh, multi-purpose cutting bit and I'm going to carve out a little bit of this at a time. If you look at the if you look at the depth of these tabs on the side of the servo, you're you're going to be going about halfway across the fuselage in order to get that completely seated. Right here where the center line is on the fuselage is about how much you're going to be carving out. So take a little bit out at a time. You want it to fit snug in the tail. And when I put this in, all I'm going to do is put a little bit of hot glue under each one of the tabs. So if I ever need to replace this servo, it's not going to be impossible to get it back out again. And it, this plane is going to be so lightweight, I, I don't think you're going to need more than a couple of dabs of hot glue under those tabs to hold that servo in place. So that's what I plan on doing. So I'm going to go ahead with my Dremel tool and I'm going to start carving this out and when I get it carved out and I get it to a point where my servo fits nice and snug and it seats completely with the tabs flush against the side of the fuselage I'll bring it back and we'll take a look at exactly what it looks like also make sure that um, I will have a complete list of all the electronics that I'm using in this plane but if you're going to be using a different servo or a different size servo, um, make sure that you trace out whatever servo you're going to be using. And also bear in mind too that um, the position of everything that I'm doing right now is based on the components that I have selected for this build. So if your weight changes on your components, then you may also need to adjust the exact placement of them to keep your center of gravity correct. Just, uh, just a heads up on that. You don't want to you don't want to put larger, heavier servos in and then find out after you get the, get the glider all together that you can't get the CG correct on it, okay? So I'm going to start on that. We'll be back, be back to take a look at the finished product. Okay, so I got mine carved out. I have the servo, you know, just pushed in to see how it fits. Uh, both of the tabs are flush against the side of the fuselage. That's not going to be a problem. Uh, my carving wasn't as pretty and accurate as I wanted it to be, but it's going to work just fine. So, Alright, so now we have our cutout for our servo, and that, um, that Dremel and that bit work fantastic. So, yeah, uh, like I said, it's not as pretty as I wanted, but I think it's going to do the job. So... Now we have our cutout for our servo for our elevator assembly. So now it's time to move on to part four. See you later.